going on my legion, this is Capson here, and today we'll be doing a discussion video. Minecraft Live is just around the corner, and Minecraft Live have introduced three new mobs they would like us, the community, to vote. Now, I haven't seen these three mobs yet, and I will be going through each one of them, having a look, seeing pros and cons, of course, and seeing which one I will be voting for in the Minecraft um, Live, of course. <laughs> So without further ado, everyone, let's begin on this first mob, the glare. Oh. I like the bee on right there. You're so cute. So that's the glare. Are you lost too? I don't like the darkness either. Guys, it's too dark in here. Much better. You must be the glare. The mob that lets players know when they are in an area that is dark enough for monsters. Okay. The glare flies to dark areas for you. When it gets grumpy, you will know that it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. You can also bring it with you and prove once and for all that you can be grumpy and cute at the same time. Those look cute. Will Tiny Agnes ever find Tiny Jens? Whose lair is this? Do you want the glare to the join Minecraft? Tune into Minecraft rights? Live on October 16th to cast your vote and change Minecraft forever. Okay, so we gotta look at the glare. A mob which lets which flies dark areas and lets you know what if it's good for monsters to spawn. Now I play I play Minecraft a ton, and whenever I see a dark area, even remotely dark, I just flopped down a torch. I know when something's dark. Back up. Back up. I just put, put, a, put a torch back in, light of the area. So, I don't think that would be very, um, like, you know, you know you, I think you know what I mean, really. Like, the moment, like I said, like, when I see something dark, plop down a torch, and I'm perfectly fine, and I know what bombs on the spawn. Even when outside my house, plop a torch around my house, boom, I'm good. Hmm. I don't think the glare will be my first choice. Aww. But let's look at the other two to see how they do. Tiny Agnes, where are you? Okay. Ooh, music blocks. Hello, fellow music Why does fan. Why look like a Vex? You are my only friend now that Tiny Agnes is gone. Here, take my last cookie. You deserve it. Oh. Typical. That's rude. You oh. must be there, eh? Thanks for collecting all these cookies for me. Would you Ooh. do that with any item I give you? Hooray! No more collecting for me! Nice! That's really useful. And you dance too? Amazing! Ooh, if you give an Alley an item, it will collect matching ones for you. It also loves music. So if there's a note block nearby, that's where it will drop them. Tiny Jens? Nice! Will Tiny Jens ever drop an album? Was that Tiny Agnes's voice? Do you want the LA to join Minecraft? Tune into Minecraft Live on October 16th to cast your vote and change Minecraft forever. Okay, the LA. A, a unique mob which collects items for you. That would be very useful for farming. For farming or building. Like, exam example. Like, okay, we all know with farming and everything. Like, grab the weed, get a bit of weed, and it'll get the weed. But with building. Say you're building a humongous tower, it's out of cobblestone, example, and you run out of cobblestone, you got one left, give the alley the cobble, he'll fly, probably fly all the way back down to a chest maybe, and pop an open chest, grab another stack of cobble, bring it back up to you, so you can continue building that giant monument. That will be pretty useful for the alley, really. Now I just look, looked at it, it does not duplicate items, it does not duplicate, just doing some research, yeah it does not duplicate, so if you have say an enchanted sword or an enchanted bow, it will not duplicate. <laughs> Trying to find one of those in one of those chests around the world, eh? Yeah it will not duplicate an enchanted item like your netherite sword with knockback like and all that stuff and everything you, you know what I mean it will not duplicate so that's the thing very interesting for the LA now let us see the final one the copper golem tiny Jens I'm down here oh back down in the, back Where down the dungeon are we? I don't know but look at this lovely the copper golem. is that a copper golem yes it must be old or a time they freeze into statues oh boy let's build our own copper golem maybe it can help us 
This one has a lot cute. of life in it. Ooh. We're saved! The copper golem is a mob that you, the player, can build yourself. It oxidizes over time and loves to randomly press copper buttons. So, they would be added to the game as well. Interesting. Will they make it to the show on time? Did they save any cookies for Tiny Boo? Do you want the copper golem to join Minecraft? Tune into Minecraft Live on October 16th to cast your vote and change Minecraft forever. So the copper golem, an interest, an interesting well, I know that recently copper has just been introduced to the game, and for I believe there's not a lot of like copper like stuff to do. Introducing this copper golem will introduce copper buttons, maybe copper levers or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but it'd be good to use more of the, the new copper ore. And I'm just thinking now, thinking the scenarios what you can use the copper golem for. I'm thinking like, say, if um, you want a minecart or something, copper golem presses something and it'll pr produce a minecart. Press another button, it will activate and you can take the minecart into the mine or something. Or you got some like gates or something like that, like you'll put a protection around your house, got like a little fence area, there's a little gate. So the copper golem will be there like to press you in and out, sort of like um, so sort of a bit like a bouncer. <laughs> Ooh, this could be useful as well for also like farming stuff. I know you use farms for a lot of like hoppers, put it into a minecart, but you can also like use the copper golem to send like some resources back to your home. So you can cook and do whatever you can with them. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Later. Now, if I'm going to choose one. I believe my choice would be the copper golem. Like I said before, like he will he will do a lot of things with it, with the button pressing and the amount of stuff that I've seen with redstone contraptions and that he can do some some things like that. Ooh, the, it would be very interesting to see what the copper golem could do with all these copper buttons. The 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 mind is absolutely amazing, and what people make in Minecraft, especially like I said with the redstone creations, and using the copper golem to actually do something like that, could, so we could probably make an automaton with the copper golem as the pilot. <laughs> the LA is definitely would be my second pick though, but mainly you I think could be good for farming or building, mainly. But it could be used for for caves as well to find diamond, but it will not be able to get them. I think it'd be good for like in mine shafts if they can open chests. That's what they. That's what the ally would be useful for if you, if you find if you mis misplace a chest or something you don't see it. So hmm, yeah. Then the glare. Now the moment I see something dark, I'm just gonna put down a torch. I know mobs are not gonna spawn. So yeah. But these are all. This is all my ideas and what my opinion is on each and every one of these mobs. And, and my also, of course, my pick is going to be the Copper Golem. What are your choices, my Legionnaires? Do you choose the Copper Golem, the Ale, or the Glare? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as really does help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever I make, and I cannot wait to see what the community picks. This is Captain, signing off. <laughs>